1995, a 17-year-old Michigan Boy Scout attracted the attention of the federal government for attempting to build a homemade nuclear reactor in his backyard, all because he got pulled over for a minor traffic infraction. David Hahn was obsessed with science and chemistry from a young age. He began studying chemistry at 10 years old. At 13, he was awarded a Boy Scout merit badge for atomic energy. At 14, he was able to manufacture the powerful explosive nitroglycerin. But his experiments caused so much havoc in his parents' house that they moved him into their backyard shed. Han gathered the technical information on building a breeder reactor by contacting the Nuclear Regulatory Commission using aliases and cover stories. A breeder reactor is used to create highly radioactive material like uranium-238 used to create plutonium-239, the same material used in nuclear weapons. When breathed in, it can cause cancer. He collected all the elements he needed from household items. Thorium from lanterns, radium from clocks, tritium from gun night sights, and lithium from batteries. He also employed coffee filters and pickle jars to handle potentially deadly chemicals. Within a matter of weeks, he had created a crude reactor, inadvertently spreading potentially dangerous radiation throughout his neighborhood. But things truly unraveled for Han when police found suspicious materials in the trunk of his car after pulling him over for a traffic violation. The police then contacted federal authorities. The EPA declared the property a Superfund hazardous material cleanup site. After an investigation, Han got away with a warning. But in 2007, Han was arrested for stealing numerous smoke detectors, which had components for another reactor he was planning to build. Throughout his life, Han refused medical evaluation for radiation exposure. He died a decade later from reported alcohol poisoning. He was 39.